Welcome back to Squawk Box. The SPAC craze continuing. According to SPAC Analytics, just one month into the year, there have now been 91 SPAC IPOs, comprising 75% of the total U.S. IPO proceeds in 2021 so far. And the momentum continues. This morning, private aviation company Wheels Up is joining that party, announcing a deal to go public through a SPAC merger expected to close in the second quarter. Robert Frank joins us with that story. Robert. Good morning, Andrew. Well, Aspirational Consumer Lifestyle Corp, that is a SPAC tied to LVMH. They are merging with Wheels Up, taking Wheels Up public at a valuation of over $2 billion. That is double its valuation just two years ago. This will make Wheels Up the first standalone private jet company to go public. Now, the SPAC's going to put, uh, SPAC's going to put in $240 million investments in the pipe. That will bring in another $550 million. You got uh, T. Rowe Price, Franklin Advisors, Durable Capital, and Dan Loeb's third point all in that pipe. Uh, Del Delta Airlines, which has a stake in wheels up from merging Delta private jet, they will also be a meaningful shareholder after the deal. Now, the private jet industry has rebounded quickly from the pandemic with business for many of these companies back or near back to pre-pandemic levels. Wheels Up flew more than 150,000 people last year and owns or manages over 330 aircraft. Aspirational will also help Wheels Up expand overseas and become more of a global lifestyle brand. Aspirational CEO Ravi Takran, who helped lead LVMH's expansion in Asia, he's going to join the board and help advise the company. The deal expected to close in the second quarter. It will trade on, on the New York Stock Exchange under the ticker symbol up, which, Joe, may be one of the best ticker symbols I've ever seen. Up. Back to you. I can't, be I can't believe that was available. That is a, a two, I know. two letters. Good, up uh, is up. Two letters are good enough. That's amazing. Thank <laughs> you. That may, be the, that may be the biggest, that may be the most important thing. In this day and age, that may be the most important thing about the deal, Robert. You know what I mean? Because nothing yeah. else matters. Uh, obviously. Anyway, th thanks, Robert. Let's bring in uh, the people behind the deal. Kenny Dichter. Founder and CEO of Wheels Up and Ravi Cochran, Chairman and CEO of Aspirational uh, and former Chairman of LVMH uh, South and Southeast Asia. Seems like a great partner, Kenny. Um, I'm, I'm thinking, and, and welcome, Ravi, in, in terms of expanding the brand just in terms of luxury. What a great partner, or uh, partner, but obviously coming with uh, LVMH experience. But, Kenny, how long's it been? Because we used to you used to come on the show, and and you were a marquee jet guy. Yeah. Then you started uh, Wheels Up. How long was it? Is, is Joe, today some type of anniversary for that? Joe, on August first, two thousand thirteen, I was right there on the set. We weren't at home, but uh, I was on the set, and we announced Wheels Up. And it's seven and a half years to the day, so that means something great for us. And uh, Squawk has been a great uh, partner as we've announced some great things. I know Joe. You were there for Justify and American Pharaoh. Uh, we got Tom Brady in the big game. Tom, we've been flying since day one. Uh, it's really a great day and a testament to all the people that work with us at Wheels Up and couldn't be more proud to have Robbie as our partner. Uh, Robbie, it, it could, you could theoretically move this into what? I mean, you're talking about, what? you tell me, what other areas are we talking about uh, with the, the Wheels Up brand that, that, that would work globally? Look, with my 20 years at LVMH and about a dozen years doing private equity, I've seen the best brands are built which go beyond the functional utility and create an emotional bond with customers and create a trusted community of customers. At Wheels Up, that's exactly what is at play. And also I've seen whenever a good category combines with good company and a great leadership team, that alchemy always produces successful outcome. Now here we have an addressable market large and growing. 90% of the people who can afford to fly have not flown private jet. 95% of the planes are sitting idle. Just using next gen technology to connect them itself is, is a great play that company is bringing in. We, uh, you know, ha having worked with LVMH, I've seen the overlap between luxury brands and private jet customers is almost complete, be it from fashion, be it from beauty, be it from jewelry, be it from champagne. I think we can bring that experience and that connect to the benefit of Wheels Up to create a world-class brand. Moreover, I and my team have led LVMH development in Asia for over uh, 20 years. And I think that experience of contextual intelligence of Asian markets, we can bring that to Wheels Up as well as and when it gets ready to, to uh, basically engage with the fastest growing market in the world 
in next decade, 62% of GDP growth is likely to come from Asia. So every company has to get ready for that. We believe we can build that bridge for Wilsa. Kenny, we, we've watched through the seven and a half years, you, you expand and, and different relationships. And, uh, you know, we've been through uh, things that uh, periods where you think it would be great for private jet travel and things where you're not so sure, uh, you know, based on, on um, you know, prospects for the economy. Trying to figure out how this latest pandemic would factor in. A lot of people would like to fly private, obviously, uh, because they don't want to go on a commercial jet. But, you know, it's been a rough economy. But I guess for your clients, these are some of the people that we're talking about, the, the bifurcated economy. Uh, the high end has, has, has been able to manage, obviously. This is a, a, a difficult thing to talk about because, because it has been bifurcated. So your business has yep. actually been good during the pandemic? Yeah, our business has been firm. And Joe, you know, I'm really proud of our pilots and our staff. We stood in and the team on the front line delivered day in and day out for our members. I would say 2020 was really the beginning of a big democratization. We saw so many new people, so many dynamic new people that had never flown private before uh, actually pick up and either join Wheels Up or come on and come on to the platform and fly. So uh, 2020 was a uh, really a solid year for us. Uh, a lot of the M&A kicked in, the, the, uh, the platform that we bought, the software that's going to enable the digital marketplace is kicking in, uh, I'll be honest. So a lot of good things. And really, Joe, you know, our good fortune, the first thing we did, and it was on uh, March 30 on your show with Russell Wilson, uh, we kicked off Meals Up. I'll give you another great metric. We're over 50 million meals on Meals Up. So thank you for the, uh, the air there. Uh, exciting. I would just say on Ravi and his team, to have the DNA and, of course, El Catatin as a partner in the SPAC. I want to talk about the operator's edge, Joe. The SPACs that have an operator like Ravi, and he's an operator's operator, have a 40 percent better outcome than just SPACs that are financially sponsored. So, you know, we chose well here. Uh, Morgan Stanley, Goldman, Jeffries, Credit Suisse, uh, all done, did a great job, great execution. And again, uh, they talked up top about the investors in the pipe. Uh, an amazing group of A-plus investors. So uh, couldn't be more happy about where we are and where we're going. What do you need to do, Kenny? With, and and what, what will this enable you to do in terms of, of more product offerings, expanding uh, your, your base? You want to you get to a point where it's like Uber, but it's, it's still pretty expensive. I, I, and prices need yep. to come down. I guess that would, that would come from having uh, the planes. I don't know. Do you need to share planes? How, how, how will it work? Joe, Joe it's, it's, it's simple. First off, we're bringing $790 million of fresh capital uh, to the business. And of course, with the public currency, uh, we'll be able to be very strategic in how we go out and, and, and globalize uh, while we democratize and digitize. But you, you, you said it up top. I mean, we need to, in real time, uh, facilitate through our software that operator community coming on and having a plane where you need it, when you need it, at any point in time. So it's real time. It's connecting millions of customers with tens, tens of thousands of airplanes in real time. And that, that's really the key to the growth here. Uh, we built a dynamic membership model that I'm really proud of. But here's the pivot to the global marketplace, the digitization. We want to be the Airbnb, the Uber of the sky. And I think that this transaction, this partnership with Aspirational and El Catatin, uh, that takes us a step closer to getting there.